Let's go see how much of a change that makes, huh? Right, I want to go to the milk barn now. Hey, it's a doggy. Friendly doggy, I hope. Uh, right, so we can go this way. Let's see how much of that this improves it. I'm not going to boost. Let's see. It definitely seems to, like, accelerate and move a bit quicker. No doubt about that. Oh, yeah, that's that's definitely faster. For sure. Wow, we can get a car that goes up to 60 miles an hour. Be still my beating heart. Right. Ooh, someone's, someone's here at the milk barn. There's a police car here. He's inside. Anyway. Let's save, because again, I'm starting to get slightly paranoid. We don't want to crash, do we? No, we do not. And then, I will see if I can buy the things I need for later. Root beer. Because last time I got in here, I couldn't, because Keith wouldn't talk to me properly. So let's see. Hey, bro! Yuck, the kids are out of case again, man. Don't listen. They don't listen to me if I tell them to come home, you know. Now I finally understand how hard my folks had it. That's fine, but I kind of want to buy some stuff. Hey, bro! Dag, arg. That's really unfortunate. And not very handy at all. Because I do need to buy some bits, but I probably can't while we're in this bit of the mission. Which is a bit of a bummer. <laughs> There's a guitar. If I talk to you behind... Hey, bro! Yeah... Dude, I really want to buy stuff. That's super inconvenient. If I go out and come back in, will that work? If that doesn't work, ugh, I'm going to have to progress the story anyway. And there's not a lot I can do about that. Because like, there is something I need to buy. And it's the only place I can buy it from, I think. Let's try. Come on, Keith. Don't be a jerk, man. Hey, bro. Nope. Uh, I'll check with Lily, but I also might be out of luck here, too. They should be at the community centre today. They like to play in the big square. That's fine, but can I buy things off you, Lily? Nope. So, yeah, we can't really progress one of the side quests, which is, okay, that's fine. That's no, again, no real biggie. But that does limit me somewhat, which is fine. So, we need to go see them at the community centre at some point. We'll do that in a minute. Thing is, some of these side quests, it's not too much of a problem, because I can always come back to a chapter to do them. But I kind of want to do them with the flow of the story, if that makes sense. Okay, so let's get in the car. And a couple of things need to do, so let's reverse a minute. So, we I don't want to do the sweary stuff, though I know people said there's more prizes for the more dart stuff. I'm kind of done with darts for the time being. What I am going to do is go to the gas station and fill up quickly. Whee! Look how much fast this goes. This is a good improvement. Um, and then what we'll probably do is the gas station is closed. Really? I'm not telling that opens. Well, whatever. Must open later. Uh, right then, we're gonna go to go get some breakfast, and then we'll go to the community center, which is on this way anyway. I think we got one of the quests done. More annoyingly, I actually had the item I needed for the quest, and I looked what I needed, and I realized I ate it at the start of the set, so I can't win today. But it's fine, uh, it's not even raining anyway, and I don't think we, I think we can do this in a slightly later chapter. In fact, I'm going to hit my, it's not cheating per se, I'm not like looking at the, um, like what's happening. I am looking at the times of when I can do some of these side quests, because I don't want to accidentally miss any. So I can do that in the next couple of chapters as well, which is absolutely fine, so that's no real biggie. Dude, dude, you're on the wrong right side of the road. Do you mind? Right, let's go embarrass everyone and have some brekkie. Whee! And once we've done that, we'll go see the kids, and then we'll probably uh, carry on with our plans. Right. Thomas, you make lovely food. Where are you, Thomas? You in here? You're not. So, you in the main room, Thomas. Hopefully you're in here. There you are! George is in there too. Hey, Thomas! 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 There we go. Uh, uh. The, sheriff and, uh, the Sheriff and Emily did their best. They continue their duties even after the murders. And me? I'm doing my best by getting the meals ready. Do you want lunch today? Yes, please! 
Good, I'll get something ready. <clears throat> you know, this doesn't taste good today. That's not true. Guys, Thomas made us a fine lunch as always. We should at least try to enjoy it. You're right. We, we shouldn't be moping around, even more so in times like these. I agree with Agent Morgan. Being so stressed out about our progress will only lead to mistakes. We should enjoy lunch. That's the very least we should do. As they say, the uh, early bird catches the worm. Sh sh Sheriff? Everyone's shocked at uh, George there. You probably mean laugh and grow fat. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ah, ha, ah, George. You're bad. And George's like, oh. Yes, well. Okay. Since we're all smiling again, let's get back to work. I think we embarrassed the big man. But it's true. Everyone's having a bit of a better time now. Yes, Becky's still uh, gone, but, you know, we've got to get on with things after all. Right. Speaking of getting on with things, let's paranoidly save once more. Lovely. And... Let's go head over to the community center. Oh, right, the car's around the back. That was, uh, that's my bad. The pain is real. Actually, something I do want to check while I'm here. I wonder if I can change my suit in the changing rooms of the police station. Because if I can, that's, like, a much more convenient place to do this. Hey, Thomas. Uh, doesn't look like it. Because I know you can shave here, but no. It all depends, it's where my suitcase is, and then I guess we can't do that here. Okay, well, luckily we'll just go around, do it this side. Oosh! Green tomato! And go get the car. I'm going to pick the furthest car, because that might be the one that's got more fuel. Let's check. Delicious. i got refill. Right. Community center, then. Uh, where are we going? This way. Should really know where I'm going by now, shouldn't I? Whee! Oh, careful, careful, careful. We haven't seen anybody scooting along the road on their asses today, though, which is a bit of a plus. Or a minus, depending on how you look at it. Ooh. The agony. Right. Ooh, come on. Right, there's a community centre. There's a hole in the fence already where I smashed it once. Oops. Okay. Thank you, car. Right, let's try this again. Now with the better top speed, we can just zoom across the grass. Well, I say zoom. Drive at a reasonable pace across the grass. Now, Emily said she'd meet us up there, which is fine. But we really do need to ask the uh, boys what's going on. And then we'll have to get a plan together and see what's what. Oh, careful, 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 careful. Hey, there's Emily. She's coming up here. Perfect. That's actually really cool that Emily physically goes to places we need. It's really, like, clever. Hey, lads. Sorry to keep you waiting, Emily. Hope she's not too cross. Agent York, I found Isaac and Isaiah. They're over there. Let's go. Sure. Oh, look at Willie. Isn't he cute? You got a cute doggy. Hello you? again, Isaac and Isaiah. I hear you're teaching Willie to do tricks. What's your secret? It's easy. Really simple. If he does it right, we give him a treat. A cookie if he does it right. I see. Very Should you lovely. feed cookies to dogs? So, tell me, you two. Could you perhaps tell me your other special secret with Becky? No, we can't. It won't be a secret if we tell. Yeah, they got you there, York. That's true. Um, I'm not telling. We promised Becky. Now that's a problem. Because I also made a promise to Becky. I promised to catch. Bad man, but I can't keep my 
promise if I don't know what the secret is. Do you see? Oh, he's got us there, yeah. Some pretty flawless logic. Fuck, what do we do? Uh, well, well, that's it. We've got to tell him the secret now. Shit. Damn. Bastard. Right, let's just kill him. Let's just kill him, yeah. Kill him. She told us to give Diane a box. It wasn't that heavy. We took it to the art gallery and gave it to Diane. Is that all Becky gave you? Um, just when we were leaving to take the box to Diane, Becky called us back. She handed us something. It was small and round. She told us to keep it safe in our pocket and give it to Diane. Did just glare at Emily? And like, then you oh. met Carol on your way. Yep, I took the round thing out of my pocket and we looked at it. And then she talked to us. We told her that we were on an errand for Becky. She said she'd do it for us. But we told her no, because Becky asked us, not her. We promised Becky to do it ourselves. Interesting. Carol, you say? So Becky did entrust the locket to them. And now Carol has it. Well, well, well. Right, Kason? Huh? Huh? Yeah, Kason. You were in the room when Carol took the locket back from Diane. I saw you with Diane in the art gallery that day. You've been everywhere, well, Kason. Yeah, I, 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 I was there in the room, but, but I was only uh, chatting with Diane. Oh, then Carol burst in, all angry looking. While Carol and Diane had their talk, oh, I, I just sat there like a frog. Yeah, so Carol took the locket from Diane, but that has nothing to do with me, right? Hmm. Uh, yes, I believe so. But from this instant, you are now a key witness in this case. I'm afraid you can't leave town until you hear from me. What? Can you do that? Yes, actually. This is all starting to sound a little like Alice in Wonderland. Snick a snack, Forrest. Snick Which makes snack. you Humpty Dumpty. Yeah, and I saw what happened to Humpty Dumpty and Alice. You go fucked. Isaac and Isaiah, thank you. I think I'll be able to keep my promise with Becky thanks to you too. How is Becky? Is she getting better? Uh. She'll come and help out at our store again, won't she? Sure. She'll come and play with us again. No, no. Won't she? Boys, about Becky. She was slit from uh, here to here. That's right. Uh, oh, um, I mean, um. Becky is almost totally better all now. All better now. But I don't think she'll be able to come and see you. I was told by Becky to keep this a secret. But she's actually a goddess of the forest, just like Anna. I think she's going to be in the forest with Anna for a while. <laughs> the short cool. just wanders off. We'll keep this a secret then, too. Wow, that's why Anna and Becky are such good friends. Yep, it's because they're both dead. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, goddesses, goddesses. You're happy, too, aren't you? Yep. Zack, I hope Emily doesn't end up as a forest goddess, too. Well, hopefully not. That was ominous. Weather dull? We won't need one of those. Okay then, Zack. Right. Let's go over what we found out recently about the case. Sure thing, York. What have we got? First, Diane, the owner of the art gallery. She was out drinking with Nick Cormack in a bar on the night Anna died. Not suspicious in itself. Nick confirmed this, and so she had an alibi. Exactly. But Nick's but a bit dodgy. We have what Nick's wife Olivia told us. According to Olivia, Nick and Diane not only went to the bar, but also went somewhere else that night. Right. Do you remember where that was, Zach? I do. They went to the art gallery, didn't they? Sure enough, there's the art gallery. That's right. The art gallery. Bingo. Before entering the gallery, Diane looked back towards Olivia. Almost as though she saw Olivia in the dark. Almost. Though it seems unlikely, Nick's but... behavior has also become more suspicious by the day. If Olivia is correct, he is heavily involved in this case. But we have no conclusive evidence of that at the moment. The only thing we can say for sure is that Nick's whereabouts are unknown at the time of Becky's murder. Which is a bad thing for Nick. There's no alibi for the crime. But that fact alone means nothing. So who was it that called Thomas to report trouble at Becky's place? Well, that would be Quint. Uh, sure enough. Because it wasn't Nick, and it wasn't Carol, and it was Quint. That's right. That's right. It was Quint. Exactly. Becky's boyfriend. 
He went to her house and saw the tragedy. We assume he did, but he could have snuck How in. about Becky's murder? I'm embarrassed and mortified. Killer struck again while we were on the case. We found her bitten off tongue. Ew. A massive amount of red seeds that poured out of the blood. Then an inverted peace symbol, like the one seen at the site of Anna's murder. From the similarities, one can deduce that Anna's killer killed Becky. Right. We also found one other important piece of evidence in Becky's room. Can you remember what that was, Zach? Yes. We did find... The sketchbook that told us about the uh, shoes, I believe. That's right. We found a sketchbook in Becky's room. Bingo. She had apparently written a letter to her sister Diane. It revealed that Becky took a locket from Anna's body at the crime scene. She also admitted to borrowing a pair of Diane's stiletto heels. Exactly. Shoes. So we found Mr. Stiletto so heels. Miss Stiletto heels was Becky. Right. Which doesn't help us, though, there was since something Becky's else not dead. At the end of the letter, it said that she handed the locket and stiletto heel shoes to someone. Do you remember who, Zach? Some ones, I believe. Well, we just found that out, didn't we? It was the twins. Now, Isaac and Isaiah did that secret for them. That's right, Zach. And from what Isaac and Isaiah told us, Carol offered to take the items to Diane, but the twins refused. Rightly so. They gave them to Diane themselves, as they had promised. For some reason, Carol wanted the locket. She ended up storming into the gallery to take it from Diane. And when Carol took the locket from Diane, Casey just happened to be there. Lucky for us, he's now Kaysen witness. Was involved in this? Or was he just there by coincidence? Casey does seem to be everywhere, doesn't he? But... I wonder what's so special about the locket, too. Why did Carol want it so badly? The questions are mounting. Come to think of it, Quint, the first witness, has no alibi for Becky's death. We checked the phone records and his call definitely came from her house. Is it possible he attacked Becky and then called us from the scene? This is unlikely seeing what everyone said about those two, but you never but know. everyone is suspicious one way or another. What should we do next, Zach? Well... Okay, who's the most suspicious? Exactly, I was about to say, we probably need to question one of the more suspects again. And the most suspicious suspect so far would be Diane. She's connected to absolutely everything. That's right. Becky's sister and Carol's enemy linked to both Nick and Casey. The elegant owner of the art gallery. Right. Zach, that's our next move. We'll start with Diane. There we go. At least we know what our next move is. So we can try and uh, sort this out. So, you want to find out everything there is to know about Diane? That's right. There's just too many things that we don't know. First, we need more intel about the relationship between Nick and Diane. How? Nick and Diane meet every night at the bar. Let's use that. George, we'll need you to stake out the gallery. What do you mean? Wait in the parking lot of the art gallery and tail Diane when she leaves. If she goes anywhere other than the bar, you let me know. Emily, you take the diner. Wait for Nick and tail him to the bar, too. As with George, if he goes anywhere else, then you let me know. Okay. Thomas, you keep a watch on them inside the bar. Yeah, super handy since you already yes. worked there, Thomas. Yes, I will. I'll be waiting in the parking lot of the bar. Once Nick and Diane are together, I will follow them wherever they go. What time do they usually show up, Thomas? Around the same time. Usually between 22 and 2300. Then at that time we do it, boys and girls. Right. We got a stakeout to do. Ooh, how exciting. Total number of days, eight. Yeah, it's gone up a little bit. Right, number continues to... Do I get lots of money? Yeah! Because I spent so long mucking around. Yes, we will save it. So, we have a plan of action now. We've got to go do a little stakeout at the right time and get to the bottom of this mess, don't we?
Zach, we need to be at Carol's bar at 2200. Looks like we have some time to kill. We can go to the diner and see how Nick and Olivia are doing. So, we have a limit for today. This is uh, chapter 12, The Fallen Goddess. So, looks like we're going to be doing some tailing, which is good. Now, we've got a bit of time to kill. We can end up going to the bar. Now, what we'll end up doing is that next time. Because this seems like a really handy place to stop. Uh, mainly because it's getting late and i got to compress this, actually. So, thank you ever so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this little side questy, sort of uh, more focused one. Um, we're going to go to the... Uh, and we're going to end up going to the diner to see what's going on next time. I don't know when I'm going to continue doing the side quest. I want to do more of Emily's, um, but I think we'll do this bit first and tail them. Then after we're done with that, we'll uh, we'll do Emily's. Worst comes the worst and I miss it, I can always do the chapter select. So that's no big problem. Once again, thank you ever so much for watching. It's been a blast as always, and I will catch you all soon. Bye for now.